Hello, yes, I'm Marie Waters for Britain Party. And my new party was going to be called Winning for Britain, for Britain, and Winning for Britain. It must be one of those uh, coincidences, accidents that keep happening all the time. For Britain, Winning for Britain. Do you really believe that's a coincidence? Another one of those accidents. Well, I don't. Given Amory Waters is not the real deal. She's not the real thing. She's a phony. She's an agent of the secret state, MI5, and it's two criminal proxies. Hope not hate. Nick Lowell's Jerry Gable's Sailor Magazine. Just like Jack Buckby is. The little weedy Jack Buckby. He's another one that's with her. And it's very telling, again, like I keep saying, how all these spies gravitate together. And you've even got a uh, top spy, right? The reality TV uh, show host now, Tommy Robinson. The cult of Tommy Robinson. You've got him endorsing here as well. Uh, there's a video on Rebel Media if you want to have a look. So, again, you see all the spies gravitate together, like I keep saying. And that's not an accident or a coincidence. So... Is it another accident? Is it a coincidence? I was going to call my party Winning for Britain. And she's now called it For Britain. Well, I'll tell you what. If it is an accident and a coincidence, then Christ. It's a big one, eh? I mean, a really, really big one. Anne-Marie Waters is not the real deal. She's a phony. Those that are watching this video, she's there to lead the real, genuine anti-Islamic... Uh, movement caused on a dead end road, probably a violent confrontation with Tommy Robinson, no doubt, or whoever. She's also there to undermine UKIP. She's also there to scare away the bigger public away from the anti Islamic message cause, whatever. That's what she's there for. A uh, party with the little fork, someone said it, connected with Bodicea. Most of the people in the country have never even heard of Bodicea. Right, or Boudicca, whichever way you want to pronounce that. Most wouldn't even know all them old symbols and names, Britannia, Boudicca, that are so outdated now uh, that it'd be pointless using them because they just have no relevance now. I actually didn't want to call it winning for Britain. Britain has lost its meaning now in many ways, though I can't think of anything else. So winning for Britain, I thought, was apt, especially with the little... Um, one of the little uh, logo and you know, a little picture sort of thing at the, at the side where they're running the winning for Britain. That would be more appropriate to the public. Looking at that, winning for Britain means winning for you. That would mean something to them. Bodice is whatever it is, assuming it's connected uh, with Bodice, it would mean nothing, but that's what it's intended to do. It looks like a devil's pitchfork and it will scare the decent vast majority away, which it's intended to. And also, it's to undermine UKIP and also any nationalist, genuine nationalist policies that are uh, formed, started like what I was going to do, uh, winning for Britain. And another coincidence, another accident. And, you know, you've got to ask yourself now, it's becoming blatantly obvious what these people are doing, yet you've still got veteran nationalists going along with it. I know it's unbelievable, isn't it? Still going to the meetings with them, sharing platforms with dirty dogs. You know, hope not hate has not mentioned once about me forming a new political party or me calling Tommy Robinson out, not uploading my videos with balls of laughter rolled over. Oh, it's mad Joe again. Nothing, just totally ignoring me. Yes, whether it's true or not, I don't know it, I don't care. They've mentioned college starting a political party, yet they don't mention me. You know, and it, it's all so obvious what's happening now. They're ignoring me because they're scared, they're frightened. Of course they are. All their snitches, well, most of them, the prominent ones, they've all been outed. I mean, what I have achieved is, it's unprecedented in white nationalist history, the world over, right? It literally is. I have exposed them all from Richard Spencer to Jez Turner to Jack Sent, ain't no Nick Griffin, Julie Lake and all of them, right? They've all got one thing in common, what they, how they have entered British nationalism or white nationalism across the world and how they operate. It's all the same. Give or take a few little tweaks here and there, but basically it's all the same. Enter under a cloud of controversy, 
gain sympathy, be attacked on the high street. Richard Spencer, um, Tommy Robinson, Paul Golding, Jada Franson. It's all the same MO, isn't it? Get attention, sympathy, get attacked. But it's so obvious now that Stevie Wonder would see through it. So is this another coincidence? Sam Marie Waters for Britain. And you have Joe Owens just winning for Britain. Another coincidence? Another accident? I don't think so. Okay, thank you.